the answer's out there, you just need to go and find it and make it work for you. There's never any right answer to the problem. It's, it's like a puzzle. There's a game which has got, is a very open-ended game, and the solutions to those games, that game involves innovation at almost every level, at the driving level, at the programming level, and at the building level. So I think it's that innovation and solving a quest which is largely unsolvable is the thing that makes it so interesting. You want to have somebody that is kind of naturally interested in construction and design and building and seeing, you know, a whole bunch of parts. And I mean, there's a thousand different types of parts. Realizing how those parts can come together into a working machine. With building robots, it's all sort of engineering and mechanical. Um, ide taking ideas and then working them out into re reality and making sure they work. Why design? I need to draw the pictures. Um, the process, um, like the beginning of the robots and then some ideas. And this is others. The robots are very good structure and I um, draw them and maybe I will use them later on. Uh, and some tactics. The second piece is definitely the programming side of it. Once you have the machine in place, there's a, you know, the, the VEX competition is really broken into three parts. There's a head-to-head, -head, two machines against two machines contest. There's a driver skills where there's a robot being driven by a student for one minute. And then one minute where there's no driver and it's just being controlled by program only with sensors and that sort of thing. So, I mean, to me as a computer engineering teacher, I'm probably the most interested in the autonomous and programming style because it really is a machine computer interface. I'm a programmer, so my job is to make sure that the controller is linked up to the robot and also to make programs for the autonomous portions of the game, make the robot move by itself. From the computer, I basically just write out standard code to make the robot do what I want. The, the third piece over the programming is the driver skills. So to have somebody that's got some, this is where playing video games comes in handy. If you're a good video game player, chances are you can translate that into being a good robot driver. And so you have to have um, the ability to kind of think like the machine thinks and then be able to control it. And we, we've been very lucky with our drivers so far. We've had very good ones. It's a lot of great experience in using a computer, programming, working on a team towards a common goal. I think the number one thing that you come away with in VAX is the ability to solve problems. I'm looking to become an automotive engineer and I think the knowledge I've gained here and the skills will help to further my ability to understand the concepts that are required.